Very sorry for disrespecting you like that, Nicole. Just up and leaving. Thank you, Louis. Uh, and if there's if there's anything I can do to make it up to you, um, just just let me know. Have you spoken to your mentor at uni? Yes. Yeah. It's it's all good. So. So that's it. Thanks for your time. What you you don't want your placement here at Shortland Street? Well, as a nursing student, I don't think so. Are you, you sure? Because. To be honest, we're understaffed. I could really use you. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not sure it's for me. Well, do you want to go have a coffee? We can talk about it. Well, I'm actually on my way to go see Nigel, see if I can get my HCA position back. Well, but I can organise that for you. No, I don't want any special treatment or anything. You're a great HCA. Consider yourself employed. Thanks. She was ready to give you another chance. Okay, look, you guys are always super stressed and underpaid. Why would any sane person want to be a nurse? Hmm. Do something useful, help people for a living, you know, take pride in giving someone just a slightly better chance of life. <sighs> Tough call. No, Mum, I'm not giving flowers as a wedding present. It's Tom. It has to be more special than that. Hi. Hello. Look, you offer to do the flowers. Right, it's your thing, not mine. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Would you give flowers as a wedding present? I gave a silver candelabra once. It went down quite well. See, that is more like it. A gold bullion? That'd be unique. You mean just like a, like a stick of gold? Or you could just go with the old faithful toaster, four slice. Mmm, no. <laughs> Ah, you like almond milk? Love it. Oh, and paleo music, you like that too? Yeah, favourite combo. Same. Hang on, who's VH? Oh. Or someone's written VH on this, what does this stand for? VH, VH. Oh, well, it could be um, Vincent Hughes, perhaps. Oh my goodness, is that you? Yes, and your Maeve, I believe. I've just stolen your breakfast. What am I like? No, look, that's fine. Eat as much as you like. I will replace it. No, no need. Please, sharing is good. Honestly, this place is like the toilet paper aisle in lockdown. Just see it, take it, own it. <laughs> oh, well, um, it's been a pleasure to meet you, Maeve, but i got to get back to ED. Need a hand? Oh, no thanks, mate. Just so you know, I'm actually a nurse practitioner, so you can use me however you like, if you need. You heard about last night? I did. Everybody's talking about me? Yeah. <laughs> well, at least you're honest. So what's your story? Well, my emergency experience is somewhat limited. I just locum here and there, rural mainly, and sometimes that involves emergency work. I'm guessing that means putting in a drip and calling an ambulance? Basically. Plus, I'm, I'm more of a thinker than a reactive action man. Well, thinking's good. Another win. You're being kind. Much kinder than the director of nursing. Mm. Only fair to warn you, Nicole's my wife. Oh, God, I, I'm so no, sorry. No, I, that's I, fine. No harm done. And to be fair, she does get a bit wound up sometimes. Look, for what it's worth, it's a, that's a tough gig here. But show some form and we will back you all the way. Thanks. Mm. We're a family. It's all about trust. And once you're in, you never leave. <laughs> Vincent, care to make the call? Uh, the patient has a previous family history of coronary disease, but, but no previous presentations. And what do we take from the ECG? Uh, well, the, the P wave is blocked and the QRS complex uh, slightly widened. Go on. Uh, well, the PR interval appears to lengthen. Yeah, continue. And, and then there are uh, two P waves for every QRS complex. So I would suggest it's an AV heart block, second degree. Requiring us to... Uh, well, because the patient is mildly symptomatic, we should admit for monitoring and investigation. Which could lead to? Uh, well, excluding other causes, uh, a pacemaker may be required. And how do we read any damage from an undiagnosed MI? Uh, well, you can't just from an ECG, but the bloods are showing a rise in troponin levels as well. Agreed. Let's admit your patient. Nice one. Thanks. Felt like I had someone in my corner. Madonna. Nicole, we don't have enough nurses. Yes, I know. No one's taking breaks. I understand. Chris Warner needs extra special care. He's the CEO. I have found a nurse for a couple of shifts. Great. 
The thing is, you might want to say a prayer or whatever you need to give you strength. What? Why? Guess who's back? Um, it's it's chaos downstairs, so I've got to go. Thank you. Sorry. Um, I've I've teamed you up with Madonna today. Sure thing. Okay, what's first? Dressing table's a mess. Start there. Sweet. Gives us a chance to clear the air about your ex. We already did that. I am so glad I waited till things bust up completely between you two. What you do is your business. Because the mattress gymnastics are just amazing. <laughs> then need to know. All those years playing league and he's still match fit, you know what I mean? Yay for you. Hey, great attitude, Madge. I am super relieved there is no bad blood between us. Hello. <sighs> what are you doing? Back for the groceries I stole. I mean, with me. What are you doing? Huh? These games you're playing, what are you doing? What games? You knew about the inheritance from Tessa's father long before I did. Or as she may have mentioned it in passing. You told her not to tell me. No, I didn't say that. Tom can't be trusted. It wasn't like that, Tom. You told her not to trust me because you do not trust me. You are my best friend. But you can't stand being happy with anybody else. That's not, that's not true. When I proposed to Tess, she wasn't sure because you had been in her ear. I didn't know that. It was supposed to be a special moment oh. and you ruined it. Please? Save it. And don't even bother coming to the wedding because we are done. <laughs> 